Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we've got a story that'll warm your heart, tickle your tear ducts, and maybe even inspire you to call your mom. Right after you finish watching, of course. Spoiler alert, she's the real superhero in this tale, and no, she doesn't wear spandex. So grab some tissues, sit back, and let's dive into a journey of love, sacrifice, and a few math problems that might just make you rethink your own homework battles. Let's go. But before we dive into this heartwarming story, let's take a moment to appreciate the unsung heroes in our lives. Yes, I'm talking about our moms. They are the ones who have been there for us through thick and thin, from our first steps to our first heartbreaks. They are the ones who have sacrificed their own dreams to make sure we achieve ours. And today, we are going to celebrate one such incredible mom who has gone above and beyond for her child. Imagine a world where superheroes don't wear capes or have superpowers. Instead, they wear aprons, carry grocery bags, and have an uncanny ability to find lost socks. This story is about one such superhero mom who, despite all odds, managed to create a world of love and learning for her child. She didn't need a magic wand or a super suit. All she needed was her unwavering love and determination. Our story begins in a small town where a single mom named Sarah lived with her son, Jake. Sarah worked two jobs to make ends meet but she never let her busy schedule come in the way of spending quality time with Jake. Every evening after a long day at work, Sarah would sit down with Jake to help him with his homework. Math was Jake's least favorite subject, and he often struggled with it. But Sarah, with her infinite patience and creative teaching methods, made learning fun for Jake. One day, Jake came home with a math problem that seemed impossible to solve. He was frustrated and on the verge of giving up. But Sarah, with her calm demeanor, sat down with him and broke down the problem into smaller, manageable parts. She used everyday objects like fruits and toys to explain the concepts to Jake. Slowly but surely, Jake began to understand the problem and eventually solved it. The look of triumph on his face was priceless, and Sarah knew that all her efforts were worth it. But Sarah's journey was not without its challenges. There were days when she felt overwhelmed and exhausted. There were times when she doubted her own abilities as a mother. But every time she saw Jake's smiling face, she found the strength to keep going. She knew that she was not just teaching Jake math, she was teaching him resilience, perseverance, and the importance of never giving up. As Jake grew older, his love for math grew stronger. He started participating in math competitions and even won several awards. Sarah's heart swelled with pride every time Jake brought home a trophy. She knew that her sacrifices had not been in vain. She had not only helped Jake overcome his fear of math, but had also instilled in him a love for learning. Today, Jake is a successful engineer, and he credits his success to his mom. He often tells people that his mom is his superhero, and he is not wrong. Sarah may not wear a cape, but she has the heart of a superhero. She has shown that with love, patience, and determination, anything is possible. So as you watch this story, take a moment to think about the superheroes in your own life, they may not have superpowers, but they have the power to make a difference. And that, my friends, is the greatest superpower of all. Now let's dive into Sarah and Jake's incredible journey. Let's go. In every story, there's a hero. A hero who may not wear a cape, but possesses a strength that can move mountains. For many of us, that hero is our mother. When I was younger, school was tough for me. Math seemed like a foreign language, and I often felt like giving up. But there was one person who always believed in me my mom. Every night, after a long day at work, she would sit with me, no matter how tired she was. She never let me see her struggle, but I could feel it. She worked two jobs just to make ends meet, yet she always made time for me. I remember the way she would smile, even when her eyes were heavy with exhaustion. She would say, Alex, education is the key to a better future. You have to work hard now so you can have a life full of opportunities. Her words were like a mantra echoing in my mind every time I felt like giving up. She was a single mother, and life was never easy for her. I could see the toll it took on her, but she never complained. Instead, she poured all her energy into making sure I had everything I needed. She would wake up before dawn to prepare breakfast and pack my lunch, then head off to her first job. By the time she got home, it was already dark, but she would still find the strength to help me with my homework. I remember one particular night when I was struggling with a math problem. I was frustrated and ready to give up, but she sat beside me, her presence a calming force. She explained the problem in a way that made it seem so simple, and suddenly, it all clicked. That was her gift, the ability to make the complex seem easy, to turn challenges into opportunities for growth. Her dedication was unwavering, 
Even on weekends when most people would take a break, she would find ways to support my education. She would take me to the library, help me with school projects, and encourage me to read. She believed in me, even when I didn't believe in myself. Looking back, I realize how much she sacrificed for me. She put her own dreams on hold to ensure I had the chance to pursue mine. Her love and support were the foundation upon which I built my future. Every achievement, every success, I owe to her. She taught me the value of hard work, perseverance, and the importance of never giving up. Her legacy lives on in everything I do. Whenever I face a challenge, I think of her and the strength she showed. It gives me the courage to keep going, to strive for excellence, and to honor her memory by making the most of the opportunities she worked so hard to provide. She was more than just a mother. She was my hero, my inspiration, and my guiding light. While others saw a single mother juggling responsibilities, Alex saw a warrior, a woman who sacrificed her dreams to build a brighter future for her child. I remember the day I won my first award. I looked out into the crowd and saw my mom. She was clapping, tears streaming down her face. In that moment, I realized she was my hero and I wanted to make her proud. But it wasn't always easy. There were days I felt overwhelmed and wanted to give up. I remember one night I was crying over my assignments, feeling like I would never succeed. And then I heard her voice from the kitchen. She was singing a song that reminded me of my childhood. It was like she knew I needed her strength at that moment. I took a deep breath, wiped my tears, and pushed through. She didn't just help with homework, she taught resilience, perseverance, and the power of love. Through her sacrifices, she lit the way for Alex's dreams. As I stood on that stage, I realized that every achievement was a tribute to her. I turned to find her, and in that moment, I knew I had to say something. Mom, this is for you. You are my hero, my inspiration. I promise to make you proud every single day, just as you've made me proud to be your child. Heroes come in all shapes and sizes. For many of us, they are the ones who stand silently in the background, pouring their love and sacrifices into our futures. To every student out there, remember to cherish your hero. They may not always be in the spotlight, but their love and sacrifices are what make us who we are. And there you have it, a heartfelt reminder that heroes come in all shapes, sizes, and yes, even sweatpants. If today's story made you feel all the feels, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more heartwarming tales. Your future self will thank you. Plus, it'll give your mom a reason to be proud of you too. Now go hug your hero and tell them they're awesome. Unless it's your teacher, then maybe just a friendly wave will do. See you next time. But before we wrap up, let's take a moment to reflect on what makes someone a hero. It's not always about grand gestures or saving the world. Sometimes it's the small everyday acts of kindness that make the biggest difference. Think about the people in your life who have gone out of their way to help you, even in the smallest of ways. Maybe it's a friend who always knows how to make you laugh when you're feeling down, or a family member who's always there to lend a helping hand. These are the unsung heroes who make our lives a little bit brighter every day. And let's not forget about the heroes we often overlook the teachers who stay late to help a struggling student, the healthcare workers who put their own health at risk to care for others, the volunteers who give their time to make the world a better place. These are the people who embody the true spirit of heroism, and they deserve our gratitude and recognition. So as you go about your day, take a moment to appreciate the heroes in your life. Maybe it's the barista who always remembers your order, or the neighbor who brings in your trash cans when you forget. These small acts of kindness can have a big impact and they remind us that we're all in this together. And if you're feeling inspired, why not try to be a hero yourself? It doesn't take much to make a difference. A kind word, a helping hand, a smile. These are all things that can brighten someone's day and make the world a little bit better. So go out there and spread some kindness. You never know who might need it. And remember, being a hero isn't about being perfect. It's about doing your best and trying to make a positive impact, no matter how small. So don't be afraid to take a chance and do something kind. You might just inspire someone else to do the same. As we close out today's video, I want to thank you for joining us and for being a part of our community. Your support means the world to us, and we couldn't do this without you. So if you enjoyed today's story, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more heartwarming tales and inspiring stories. We have so much more to share with you and we can't wait to see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other. And remember you have the power to be a hero in someone's life. So go out there and make a difference. We'll see you next time.